Brick Maniacs. It is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Oh, whoa. Fix your sunglasses. Fix your ready, sunglasses. Ready to go. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. We have the Panther Ossif D today, designed by Dan Siskind. That's me. Cool. Well, look at this. What, what on earth is going on here, Dan? Well, this what is we the got? Panther. We've done many Panthers before. This is the original Panther. We're, we're, we're celebrating. I don't know if he's celebrating. We're commem commemorating the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Kursk. And that was the debut of the right. Panther. This is Germans, the German German Army's uh, right. answer to the T-34, right. German military. And even even like uh, kind of going back, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're, we're focusing on 1943 pretty heavily yep. this year. Yep. So and this, this fits right into that. This is it. It's the right month, 75 years ago. So nice. Battle of Kursk. Super cool. So the Panther House of D, um, it's the original version. We have it dressed up in a actual authentic Kursk yeah, look set. at that. Let's do a little uh, spin <laughs> yeah. around of that. So we've, we've done Panthers before. I know some people don't like the stickers. Um, if you take the stickers off, it's just a tan panther. It does right. have the Balkenkreutz print on the we corner pieces. We both options. Right, so underneath underneath the uh, the stickers are actually is a printed piece there. Yeah. And so this is this sticker is a, these stickers are a little bit different than the, the kind we've had in the past. We're trying out something new here. These are semi permanent, so you can actually pretty easily reposition them. Oh, okay. And remove them. Yeah, it's a new, um, it's a new sticker medium. Works yeah. really really well on on a, a larger surface like this. We're we're really liking it. We want feedback. Um, so if you pick up this kit, let us know if you like it. So um, if you can tell, this this is a lovely lovely artwork designed by. Uh, our graphic designer Slam. Um, he's designed a few things around here in the past. Some other right. stickers. He did, so now he did he's the stickers off the Ferdinand, which yeah. is the other the big the other big German entry for yes. uh, the Kurska series that we're doing. So he's stepping it up a game with this one, or stepping it up a notch. Um, he's got some Zimmerit in there. Right. They put a Zimmerit texture. That's you what want that, to zoom that, in little, on that. that little that little zigzaggy looking pattern. It looks like you could reach out and touch it, but it's actually not. It's just it's, sticker it's, printing. Yeah, it's just printed on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So the Zimmerit paste. This is this anti-magnetic mine paste that the they would they would basically slop it on the tank, and um, you had a trowel that had notches in it. So mm -hmm. that's where you get this sort of notched pattern. Um, so that's that's the Zimmerit paste. You see it on all sorts of German armored vehicles around the middle middle you know 1943 1944. Right. Um, I think they stopped using it in the end when they. It's, it's a lot of extra work. For Time the, consuming. The, the small possibility that somebody's going to stick a magnetic mine on the side. Didn't of your we just put like scraps of wood on the side of our tanks to prevent that? I just shot people when I got or close just to the tank. <laughs> 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 so a lot of extra work. I mean, no, no, it's got it, a distinctive it, it, look. It, it was but. an issue with it, in the Pacific with the Japanese. Yeah. They would actually stick mines on the tanks, but I don't think it was uh, necessarily right. The, yeah, the, the, the solution was just not let them get close enough. Right. So, um, but I mean, you can tell that this just looks, it, it almost it takes a, a level beyond in the model building. Right. right. It's this, this, it, it looks like something, it's almost like a real model, you know, like a, It is, it's cool. I mean, it is obviously a real model, but, but it's, it's kind of blurring, blurring the lines, I think, a little bit, which is pretty cool. So like the previous Panther, yeah. Panther kit, we also get three custom minifigures, yep. add, added realism. So we've never done this before. We nice. actually have a, a Pan, Panzer crewman. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of in that, that black, early, still in that early war uh, pan, Panther or Panzer wrap. Um, and then we have the commander, which is yep. basically a little slightly updated version of the Panzer commander that we've we've previously sold. Of course, he has a little bit more accessories. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit more, some binoculars, some medals. Every time we get a chance to redo an older guy, we always add more yeah. details. So just just, Got just like the tank. The this is actually my first time seeing these guys completed um, since making the artwork on my computer because I was out uh, out of the office. Right, we were, we were at Brick Fair, Virginia. Brick Fair. So this is kind of cool seeing it for the very first time. Likewise, the tank, um, the, the tank with the, uh, the the completed model with the uh, the, the uh, stickers on it. Yeah. something I've only seen in pictures. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Um, pull this apart so you can see that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've talk used uh, I've used this face, similar face artwork before. Some of you might re recognize it um, from a past design. So yeah, it's cool. Well, I've yeah, I've. It's kind of an Easter egg. It's uh, this guy's face was 
I originally used him in the mouse as the Panzer oh, Commander. Oh, Pan Mouse Commander. Makes makes so a day, makes a return visit. He's, he's a younger, uh, slightly healthier, <laughs> less less vision impaired version right sure. now. So, so. Um, and, and while Lana was talking about the figures, yeah. I did take take a chance take a moment to take the Panther apart. Yeah, check that like out. Like the original model. So this is this is not that far off. If you if you if you have the ambush Panther ambush camouflage Panther or maybe some of the older gray ones, not very uh, dissimilar inside. There's a, it still has working suspension underneath, um, and then. Of course, you can fit your two uh, your your two uh, Panther crewmen right. inside. Um, the the House of D model. So later Panthers had a ball turret with the with, with the uh, um, MG MG34 in it. The mm -hmm. original model did. They just had a little port that the guy would shove the um, the oh, your, your radio operator would shove the uh, the uh, MG42 or whatever MP40 or whatever he had pistol whatever. Um, so this this one actually has the. MG34 built in, and it actually it clips in so it doesn't fall out. You have the uh, the Maybach engine in the back here, and of course we can just reattach this. Nice. Yeah, not not too difficult. Except I did knock the door off. Uh oh. Yeah, whatever. You got it. It's yeah, okay. it's it's not a big deal. Just and like the real thing, the gun just kind of floats in there. Thus, there's no mount for it. <laughs> so. And then you show that nice. on. And the commander goes right so in. Sits in the commander's hatch. Of course, these hatches open and close. Do have, there's, there is a hatch over Oh, this. no. Oh, I lost the exhaust. Pipe. Okay, check out the. Oh, I'll, I'll let you finish that. Yeah, okay. Check out the exhaust here. Um, we actually found a use for the. Uh, the black Lego pistols. black pistol. Lego pistols. They end up kind of looking like a cool little exhaust here. Yeah. <laughs> it completes the look because it did have that curve. The, the original Panther did. And then once you look, oh, those are the Lego pistols, but they do, you know, they look like. They look like uh, the exhaust. Exact, the exact shape <laughs> of the Lego exhaust. So yeah, that's, that's it. And you did. Cool. You will know it does roll on a shiny plastic surface. Perfect. So that's the Panther. It's 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 out. It should be out uh, this yep. weekend. By the time you watch this video, you should be able to order this. Yep. Uh, they're packing them up today, in fact. So you can order them now. Cool. It does have some printed elements. So it comes with guys. Th yeah, three printed guys. Uh, maybe down the road we'll release some sort of standalone crewman. Or maybe a sticker pack or something if you want to do a full crew. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's all depending. We have, we we are so far behind on printing guys. So <laughs> it's one thing you may have noticed is a lot of a lot of figures sold out right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, we need more. We're, we're we're training a new printer guys. Got it um, going. Yeah. 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 We can't cool. keep up. You guys are killing us. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, fun. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking Not of new complaining. new figures, new figures. Check this out. This is a to go with your other cursed guys. This is the machine gunner. In that oak leaf pattern. Um, so what's different from this guy? So what's different? He is wearing. Check out this this ammunition belt. That's actually texture printed. Each individual bullet <laughs> is texture printed. It was never done anything like that. I don't think that's ever been done before. Um, so that means you can feel the bullets. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the glare of, of the to show off that texture, but yeah, every little bullet link on there on this uh, is just uh, got a cool texture to it. And then to go with that, it comes with this gun with the uh, with the bullet links uh, so in brick arm form. Yep, so. MG42. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I did notice when I put this thing together, so Will has a new bullet. Uh, it's a Will being Will from Brick Arms mm -hmm. has a new bullet tab. It's a really nice long tab with two bullets on it, so you can see that. It is really hard to push this thing through the gun, so be careful when you're doing it. Push this, do this one first, yeah. <laughs> then put your uh, your, your U clips on. Or actually, I slide you slide them on so it doesn't stress the U. Clips. Right, right. Another, I, I just like, did. A, I did a boo boo. That's another uh, secret. <laughs> I, did, I did a no no. So I mean, yeah, see the U clip um, will slide over the end of the bullets. That's generally how I do it. And just they're, they're rather more, than pushing it in yeah. this way because the, the U clips they're they're pretty durable but they're not like super durable right. or anything like that. So definitely over time they, they, yeah yeah do so. not abuse your U clips. Proper U clip uh, use will uh, prolong the life. Right. Um, so yeah, this this all comes together. Everything you see right here, and uh, custom brand new face. It's kind of got that. I base it off the the guy from Doom. I don't know if if you remember the Doom guy on the, the bottom of your game? screen. He's like, Argh. oh, it's, it's, it's roughly easy. based. It's <laughs> roughly based on he's that. He's enjoying shooting this gun. So it's a, it's a little bit cartoony and over the top, but I figured you know if you're firing a machine gun. Yeah, it's like what is it? It's like the one of the fastest cycling machine guns ever made. Yeah, you're yeah, probably yeah. gritting uh, your teeth. Your teeth, a your bit. teeth are <laughs> chattering as fast as that gun is firing. So. That's uh, that's my latest figure. Um, 
turned out really cool. Again, this is like, I just saw this guy a few minutes prior to filming the episode. So. Yes, and hopefully he won't sell out before the, the, this episode. <laughs> We're gonna put him up today, yep. and he'll, he'll be available, but yeah, he's gonna be going yeah. fast. Yeah, oh, super. one thing I forgot to mention about the, uh, this crew, check out this be the belt. I'm trying out a new texture. Texture um, printing? Not texture, it's, it's a technique? technique, right? There actually is a little bit of a leather grain to the belt. Um, <laughs> I tried it out first on the Road Warrior figure. I see that? What do we call it? Wasteland Warrior figure. Oh wow, that's our, cool. Our, our Mad Max inspired figure. Um, that's cool. He had a, he had like a leather jacket, so I had this grainy texture to it. So there is a bit of a grain what to it. What will Lando think of next? Yeah, yeah. It, it's really fun trying out these different uh, simulated textures and actual textures on these figures. This is we're trying out new things that that I, I haven't seen them anywhere else, and right. it's been a lot of fun to actually get a chance to do them. Um, I mean, similar similar with these pants, you'll, you'll notice these aren't the standard Lego dark gray. I've actually tinted them a, um, a, a greenish color to, oh, that's right. to get to the, to the field gray. Super fancy. So, oh, great. yeah. It's been, a, it's been so much fun. Um, it's been so much fun. Thanks I want to hear. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for supporting our business, right? It's, yeah, it's and, and for having this battle <laughs> 75 years ago. So. Uh, commemorating. <laughs> right? Commemorating. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't have anything else. Then we're done. We're done? Get them while you can. Cool. Because this is going to be the hot ticket. The hot ticket. Hot ticket. Uh, that is the episode. For more information, uh, just check out our website. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to our newsletter because I think that's probably one of the best ways to stay up to date with everything we're doing here. It is. Um, with that, that is the episode. That is the episode. Thank you for watching. <laughs>